Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about installing and setting up Looking Glass. So first let's go over the requirements. To get started you'll need to have a virtual machine already set up with GPU pass-through. You can use one of my guides or any other guides you find on the internet or just it has to be a working VM with pass-through. Secondly, the accompanying script that we'll be using in this guide only works with Ubuntu, Manjaro, Fedora, Pop! OS, and Mint. So if you are not using one of these, you'll just have to install Looking Glass manually, since this script won't work for other OS's. So to get started, let's download Looking Glass from the official website. I'll leave it in the video description. Let's go to Downloads. And we'll, we'll use the B2, the newer one, save this. So we'll do the source, right? We are first downloading the source, the blue icon. And then let's go to GitHub and let's download Looking Glass Helper. So we'll click on code, download zip, and we'll save it. Okay, now let's take a look at our downloads. And here is our Looking Glass helper. Let's extract it. Let's extract Looking Glass. And let's copy Looking Glass into the helper folder. Perfect. So now we just need to run the Looking Glass helper. And now time to install it. So let's minimize this. Let's open the terminal. And let's go to downloads and LG helper. And let's make lg.sh executable. Which mod was x lg.sh. And now let's run it as a super user. Okay, it will install the required packages. Then it will uh, ask you to select the user that will be using it. Yes, if you want to confirm the choice, or no, if you want to specify. And now the script will compile Looking Glass for us. Okay, that's done. Looking Glass client has been compiled, and you can find it right here. Looking Glass client build and Looking Glass client. This is it. So you can move it somewhere where you can find it. I'll move it to, let's say, home. I'll just copy it. Okay, and now to get the virtual machine ready for Looking Glass, let's close this. Let's minimize this. And what we'll need to do is add graphics right here. You click on this, and basically we'll need that Spice server. So finish. And then you'll sc scroll down and where it says Video Cyrus or QXL or whatever else, you will change this to none. N-O-N-E. So because we are using our video card, whatever we pass through. So this can be none, but Looking Glass will need this. So this is done. Next, we'll have to edit first. So let's go back to our terminal. Let's become a super user. Versh, edit, and the name of your virtual machine. Win 10. In my case, okay. Let's make it bigger. And we'll need to add the shared memory device. So let's go to Looking Glass homepage, quick start guide, and let's scroll down right here libvirt configuration and this shared memory device copy it go back and all the way on the bottom the very end before devices before devices end so right there let's put it there so it has to be somewhere within all your devices okay control o control x and Hopefully, it says something like this configuration edited. If there are any errors, 
make sure you copied the whole thing and not only a part of it or make sure you didn't paste it at the very end after all the tags okay so now let's get the virtual machine started you'll still need to have a monitor connected to it so i'll switch to input so you only need the monitor for now to basically configure a couple things let's go to looking glass website and we'll need two things so we'll need to download the host application right the one that runs in the client which is the host for looking glass so i know it's kind of confusing but that's what it is So that's the green one, and it has to be from the same. You cannot basically skip here, download one from here and one from the top one. It has to be if one is B2, then the other one has to be B2. Be consistent. So I downloaded that, and uh, we need one more thing. Let's go back to Quick Start Guide, scroll down, and we'll need the driver for the shared memory device. So right here, installing the ishmem driver. Download the later one. So save it. For those of you who are running a secure boot virtual machine, make sure you disable secure boot in your virtual machine. And I'll uh, demonstrate it right now. Okay, so I was pressing F2 as it was booting. You go to Device Manager and Secure Boot Configuration and Attempt Secure Boot uh, should be disabled. And no X where it says Attempt Secure Boot. So for some, some virtual BIOSes, depending on what you picked, uh, they start with it enabled. So just disable it. Okay, so let's extract these two. Okay, so now that that's extracted, let's go to device manager. System devices. And PCI standard RAM control. Update driver, browse. Mine should be on my desktop. Vert.io, Windows 10, AMD 64, that's everybody running a 64-bit machine. And install. So hopefully Secure Boot was disabled and this doesn't give you any errors. Okay, that should be ready now. And now we are ready to install Looking Glass. So open the other one. Looking Glass host setup and run it. and close okay so that should be ready now is the time to run looking glass let me switch back to my host so now let's open files and we can run the looking glass client so i copied it here if you are trying to find it and you don't know where it is actually located so by default if you haven't copied it already it's wherever you downloaded the looking glass helper within the helper there should be that Folder, Looking Glass, Client, Build, and Looking Glass Client. So I recommend moving it somewhere else where you will find it, but it can stay here. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is run it. So terminal, and let's go to our home folder. We should see it there, Looking Glass Client, and let's run it. So if you want it full screen, dash f it, you will be running it in full screen here is our windows virtual machine let me minimize it Control c to close it if you have trouble launching it or if you get an error when launching it you can do this export sdl underscore video underscore x11 underscore visual id equals okay so that's if you get an error and you can't uh, seem to solve it i'll leave a link in the video description 
to uh, the forum post that uh, refers to this and how to fix it. But anyway, so looking glass. Full screen, if you want to have access to more options, help, dash dash help. And here it shows you different options you can do. Most of us will be running it full screen. Some of us might want to run it in windowed mode and you can uh, change all the settings through these command line options. Another option that this gives you, it can also capture your keyboard and mouse and by default scroll lock on your keyboard switches basically between host and the guest especially if you're running it in windowed and you don't have a don't have two keyboards available two sets of keyboards and mice so you can switch between the host and the guest with your scroll lock or you can change that key to something else so also uh, the graphics card you'll be using for the virtual machine needs to have either a monitor plugged into it. So you don't have to be displaying whatever the GPU is outputting, but you might need to have either an HDMI or DisplayPort cable at least connected to some sort of a monitor. Or you can get one of the dummy plugs from eBay for a couple of dollars. And basically the graphics card has to think there is a monitor plugged into it. If there is nothing at all plugged into the guest graphics card, you might be limited to some uh, resolution like 800 by 600 or something like that. So two options, a dummy plug or just use your monitor. Most monitors have multiple inputs. So host plugged into one, guest into another input and you don't ever have to switch to guest on the monitor. You just have to have something plugged in. Okay. So now let's take a look at how this performs. I'm using a Ryzen 5 1600, four cores dedicated to the virtual machine. So let's take a look here. So four cores and the rest is uh, used by the host, 32 gigs of memory and uh, 16 used by the virtual machine. The GPU used by the host is Radeon 295X2. So might be an overkill, but that's what I had sitting around from working on my previous videos. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so here we are. And actually it still feels pretty laggy. Let me turn it off. And let me change one more setting. So I'll shut down the virtual machine. Okay, and right here, go to CPU and let's change the topology to cores, so four cores or whatever, how many cores and change the current allocation, one socket. So we'll leave it at that and let's launch the virtual machine again and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's see how this works. Yeah, so this is definitely decent, playable frame rate. Not the best out there, but if you are not a competitive, you know, player and your livelihood doesn't depend on it, I would say you can probably have some fun with this. So let's see what happens when we try to use an older GPU, the already mentioned Radeon 6450. And let's see the performance under that. So I'll shut this down, change the GPU, and I'll be right back. So the performance isn't terrible, but uh, it's worse than before. And uh, so I would recommend at least use a powerful GPU, well, powerful, something less than 10 years old. And uh, I don't think the 
which slot you put it into matters as much. So even the chipset slot should be sufficient. So pick a GPU that's a little less than 10 years old. Looking glass is awesome as always. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.